My name is Luke Monnington, and today we're going to be talking about analog AI, which has the potential to reduce the energy consumption of training a neural network. In a previous video, we discussed the potential for neural networks to reduce energy consumption by more closely mirroring the human brain. Today, we'll be discussing a different method of reducing energy consumption. This other way is called analog AI. The idea of analog AI is that the AI would teach itself by using the physics of a circuit instead of through digital means. But one of the main things limiting this approach is that the typical way of an AI teaching itself is through backpropagation, which usually has to be done through digital means. The challenge here is to find a technique for the AI to learn by using the physics of a circuit instead of these digital means, and thus save a significant amount of power. The reason that analog circuits can save a lot of power when compared to digital systems is that analog circuits would be very efficient at performing a key calculation in AI called multiply and accumulate. The opportunity here is that two of the fundamental laws of electrical engineering can basically do that. Ohm's law multiplies voltage and conductance to give current, and Kirchhoff's current law sums the currents entering at a given point. So if we can figure out how to apply those two fundamental laws of electrical engineering to train an AI completely in analog, then we could potentially reduce power consumption by an order of magnitude. The current challenge that we're trying to overcome in order to make this possible is that AI systems have a lot of variability in their components. In other words, analog neural networks don't behave exactly alike. As a result of that, you end up accumulating error as you move backwards through a neural network in order to allow the AI to learn. And to compensate for this, a network would need a lot of power-hungry digital circuits, which defeats the whole point of going analog. If we can figure out this problem, analog AI may be the key to dramatically reducing the power consumption of neural networks. Some experts at the University of Montreal are working on solving this problem right now. They think a method called equilibrium propagation may be the answer. They're working on a hardware proof of principle right now, and hope to have it out by 2021. The result could be end-to-end -end AI systems that are capable of running sophisticated robots or playing a role in data centers.